that your love never fails and never gives up. I love that. Love that. Praise you, Lord. You may be seated this morning. Hallelujah. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Dawn Thompson. I am Rick Thompson's wife, and we are the new pastors here in Olathe. We're going to be meeting here today, and we really thank you for coming out and supporting this work. We are very, very excited about getting a church started here in this beautiful town. Um, Olathe means beautiful, as those of you from are from here probably know. And it is a very, very beautiful place, and we feel very blessed to be here. This is the only service we'll be having in December, uh, and then we will also be going out this um this month and uh, meeting new people and then we will start full time in January right on January 1st what better way to bring in the new year than to come to church okay and you know what you can get probably get out of here long before the football games ever start <laughs> come and worship the Lord on the new year um, I'm going to take the offering this morning you will find in your seats um, uh, offering envelopes and as you can see on them, these have been made up for the church. We're asking you for this service only to make your check payable to the Heart of America. Uh, while our, since this is a new work, our 501c3 is still in process. And we want to make sure for those of you that are accountants like me out there that you get tax credit for your giving. And so um, if you would, uh, you would prepare those today. This is the only service we're going to have in December, so I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about Christmas this morning. I'm reading out of the book of Matthew, second chapter. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod, behold, there came a wise, wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ would be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, and thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had, had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when he had found him, bring me word that I may come and worship him also. And when they heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with his mother Mary, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Well, all growing up, I thought to myself, what strange gifts to present a baby. Why, why gold, frankincense, and myrrh? And I had heard through my life, that, oh, well, they were burial spices. And they were. They were, but there was there's greater meaning. And for those of you that are biblical scholars out there, I know you're going to already know this, but I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the meaning of the gifts that they brought the Christ child as you prepare your gift today. The gifts hinted of the Gentiles actually coming to the Savior. You have to remember these magi, which were probably more than three, even though we see sing at Christmas time, the We Three Kings. Uh, Magi is just plural. They don't know how many there were. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold. Well, we would understand that, but presented to a baby. How many go to a baby shower nowadays and give the baby gold? <laughs> gold. Signifying that he was the king of kings. Something that you would give a king, a baby king, when he was born. Frankincense. Frankincense is something we don't see nowadays much, but it's a resin that has medicinal and soothing properties. They actually used it back then to treat depression. To treat depression. The ancient people burned the frankincense, believing it carried their prayers to heaven, 
And frankincense was used by the priests, signifying Christ came as our high priest. And then myrrh, lastly, which was actually a very costly spice, almost to the price of gold. It was bitter, and it was used to treat wounds, bruises, and bleeding, which represents his humanity, represents his burial, that he was to die for us and be our savior. So we have gold for the king, frankincense for the high priest, and myrrh for the savior. So I challenge you throughout the month of December as you hear the Christmas story, what is Christ to you? Is he your king? Is he your high priest? And is he your savior?